how to find the exact solution of forsake module. So for this one, we are going to concentrate ourselves to this point. Because this one has RT, RT. So we are going to see D RT is equal to alpha times mu minus alpha RT D, DT. So that means this one has DT plus sigma dwt so we are going to get this one and this one so we are going to get trt is equal to negative alpha rt dt so we can divide both sides by rt rt then we integrate both sides so for this one you are going to get natural log of rt is equal to this one will go with that one minus alpha t. So in to make a t the subject, we have to to remove natural long by reducing the exponential. So we are going to get r t is equal to exponential raised to negative alpha t. <coughs> So here we have to to make it to look like, like it was lemma, we have to introduce the constant here. So we are going to get RT is equal to F T R T exponential raised to power negative alpha T. So we make this one to be the subject. So F T R T is equal to R T exponential raised to alpha t <coughs> so after this one we can use the height of lemma to find the exact solution of a sec model so for this one the height of lemma says that height of lemma changing f over changing t dt plus changing f over changing rt because this one is rt, RT drt plus a half Take a derivative of this one. T R T. Then you square this part. So we have that one. So <coughs> we are going to use the Ito's lemma to solve this one. So first of all, we have to differentiate this one with respect to T. So T in F over changing T. D T, which is equal to alpha r t is exponential raised to mm -hmm. second we use this one changing f over changing r t d r t which is equal to we, dif we differentiate this one with respect to this one so we are going to get that one exponential raised to alpha t so, second derivative of this one. Which is equal to zero. Because that's it have a name parity <coughs> So, we are going to substitute. Because we have this one. And this one. We are going to substitute it from, from our little cinema equation. This one. So, we are going to get. Alpha RT exponential raised to DT plus exponential raised to alpha T DRT. But we know our, our DRT is equal to this one. From our from our DRT is equal to this one. So where we have DRT, we are going to substitute with this one. So here we are going to say alpha RT exponential raised to dt <coughs> plus exponential raised to alpha t in the bracket alpha mu minus rt dt plus sigma dwt so we can open this one we are going to get alpha rt exponential raised to dt plus this one times this one we are going to get alpha mu exponential raised to 
Titi Menas Arfat Arati Explainer Jo Best to that one Titi Plus This one Singma Explainer Jo Best to that one TWT But you can see that this one and this one is they are come so they will cancel so I'm going to get alpha mu exponential raised to alpha t dt plus sigma t and wt so because we have this one which one which one which one which one this one so we are going to integrate both sides from 0 to t so from this one we are going to integrate from 0 to t hmm and t which is equal to this one what do we have integrate this one from 0 to t 0 to t so this one will cancel out so we are going to get r t exponential raised to minus when this one is raised to 0 and get 1 then r naught is equal to we integrate this one we integrate this one so we are going to get we integrate this one we are going to get this one will drop, so this one will cancel with that one. So we are going to get mu exponential raised to that one from 0 to t plus 0 to t sigma exponential raised to twt. So because this one only is a weight noise, we can't reduce the weight noise. So when we continue, we are going to get rt exponential raised to that one minus r naught is equal to so mu will be common then exponential raised to alpha capital T minus 1 because this one exponential raised to 0 is equal to 1 plus this one because we can't differentiate the we can integrate the weightness. Sorry. So to make RT because we need exact solution of this one. So we are going to remove to divide both sides by exponential raised to power alpha t. So we are going to get our exact solution will be RT is equal to we take this one to the other side, it will become R node with the sign of positive because it has negative sign. Then we will divide this one, this one will cancel, the other side will become exponential raised to negative alpha t plus mu. Then this one will multiply by this one, but this one it has negative on the other side. So negative or negative would cancel so we will get exponential raised to power zero which is equal to one minus one times this one exponential raised to negative alpha t so we are going to get exponential negative alpha t plus zero t sigma exponential because alpha is common you can see negative alpha in the bracket we start with capital T minus T T W T so that one is the exact solution of a set model so on the other side we are going to find the, the expected and then effect the variance So, to, to fit the expectation of this one, RT, so, expectation of RT is equal to expectation of this one,
Sure. So I, I'm going to show you the shortest way to find the expectation or rate of asset model. So for this one, we know it as it as DWT. So we know expectation of DWT is equal to zero. So expectation of WT is equal to zero. So this part is equal to zero. So we so we get expectation of RT is equal to R load equals to exponential plus mu. That one is the expectation of the RT. So to fit the variance of RT, so which is equal to variance of this part, this the whole part. So I'm going to get variance of R naught. So what I'm going to do is just ready this one. The variance of constant because this one is constant, the variance of constant is equal to zero. So we are going to consider it with this part. So variance of RT, which is equal to variance of integrate from zero to T sigma that one. So we are going to, to square this one. So I'm going to get sigma squared 0 to t exponential raised to 2 alpha t minus t dt. Because when we squared d w t, we get dt. Then from this part, so we are going to integrate, so we are going to get sigma squared over 2 alpha because it we are going to integrate with respect to this one to alpha t minus t from 0 to t. So we are going to get sigma squared over to alpha. When you substitute it with t, this one becomes 0, 1 minus to alpha t because this one is zero. This one is the variance of RT of basic model. So, so we can say RT is never distributed with mean R. This is the mean. And variance that one. So, so is RT is normally distributed with mean this one and variance this one. So, but when T is approaching infinity, we are going to get this one becomes zero mu, this one becomes zero. So, we are going to get RT is normally distributed with mu at the variance sigma squared over to alpha. When T is approaching infinity, because we know exponential raised to power negative infinity, which is equal to zero. So, this part becomes zero, zero. So, mu times one, this one becomes 0, 1 minus 0, 1 times this one. So we are going to get that one. That one is um, the final answer. But we can find the RS of the Vasek model. So to find the uh, RS of Vasek model, 
So we are going to say, we are going to substitute this part with R S. So we are going to substitute this one too with R S. So R S go to R naught exponential raised to alpha S. Where we have T, we write S plus mu 1 minus exponential raised to alpha S plus 0 to T sigma exponential raised to alpha S minus so we can change this to be mu mu over d w mu so we are going to either get this one again so we are going to get r s is equal to either get from 0 to t r node With respect to df, we degree this one again. Mm -hmm. We degree this one again. Zero to t, zero to t. Ds. Then D in W. First of all, we are going to differentiate it with the DS. So for this one, we need to differentiate it with, 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 with respect to S. With the grade, sorry, with the grade with respect to S, we are going to get R not over negative alpha from 0 to T plus Again, we do the same thing here. So, because this one cos cos, and we can see mu with a bracket. So, when we integrate this one, we get S minus. When we integrate this one, we get, get exponential raised to that one over negative alpha. Then we know it's from 0 to limit 0 to t. Plus 0 to t, then we get this part. We are going to get sigma over negative alpha. This one is negative alpha exponential raised to that one from 0 to t. D W U. Mm -hmm. So you can say this one is going to be go to get another one negative alpha. This one become exponential raised to minus one plus mu. Mm -hmm. When you substitute this one with T, you are going to get T minus T minus minus because this one is minus minus we get positive exponential raised to negative T over alpha minus when we substitute with zero this one becomes zero this one becomes exponential raised to zero which is equal to one one over alpha because this one is negative negative we get positive so we're going to get one over alpha mm -hmm. plus the grade from 0 to t mm -hmm. when we substitute this one with t we are going to get exponential over negative alpha then exponential raised to alpha t minus mu minus this one is substitute with zero we get one minus one t 
CW mu. So that means this one is going to we have indicate R S. R S the S from zero to T. This is our solution. So from our solution we know we know from previous that T W T is only square equal to D T. Then expectation of T W T is only equal to zero. Or expectation of D W mu is equal to zero. So if we want to find the expectation of R R S from zero to T R S D S, we are going to use only constant part this one this one becomes zero because it has w d w u so you're going to get our expected expectation is r naught over alpha because it's half it has negative you take inside become one minus plus mu the bracket t plus we can combine this two we get exponential raised to negative t minus one over alpha that is the expectation of RIS of a model. So we are going to continue to get the variance of RIS from 0 to T RIS DS. So from previous we said that the variance of constant because this one part is constant is equal to 0. So we are going to use this one, this part. Variance of 0 to T Sigma of negative alpha exponential t minus mu minus one t w mu. That means we are going to square this both side. So, but remember this one. It carries the the whole part, so we can see the variance. It's got to sigma over alpha. Then because it is negative here, we will be affected here and get 1 minus t minus mu d w mu. So variance, we have to square the both sides this one. So to square, when we square this one, we are going to get sigma squared over alpha squared. We square this part. We are going to get 1 minus 2 exponential raised to 2 t minus plus exponential raised to 2 alpha t minus mu. Then we can say all of it. We square this part and get du. But inside this part, this one should be integrate from 0 to t. So we get, because this one is constant, you can see sigma squared over alpha squared in the bracket. When you integrate this one with respect to du, get u. Minus 2 over alpha with respect to this one raised to alpha t minus mu plus 1 
V tu alfa exponé yo resto si menos mil from zero to t so when we substitute with t inside here we can you can work with inside you get t minus 2 over alpha tt you get 0 of which this one is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 alpha raise to this one t t minus t is equal to 0 so get plus that one minus when you substitute with 0 this one is 0 mm -hmm. when you come to the other side you get 2 over alpha 0 get 2 alpha t plus 1 over 2 alpha mm -hmm. this one is 0 so I'm going to get we got you 2 alpha t but this one we know sigma squared over 2 alpha in the bracket this one is t minus 2 over alpha plus 1 over 2 alpha because this one is 1 1 minus 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 get positive Oh, you can leave it like that one get negative 2 over alpha t plus 1 over 2 alpha 2 alpha t mm -hmm. to get the final answer I'm going to get sigma squared over 2 Sigma squared over alpha squared, then bracket t because t is only one minus two over alpha in the bracket. We combine this one with this one. We're going to get one minus. Mm -hmm. 1 over 2 alpha, you combine this one and this one, get 1 minus 2 alpha t. Then this one is variance of RS of the set model. This one is squared. So, so you can see. But you can leave it because it's easy to find RIS in normal distributed with mean, 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 or do we have mean, mean this one, which one, this one, and variance, this one. So you can conclude that one. So RIS is normal distributed with the mean, this one, and variance, this one. But let's say when t is approaching infinity, so R s will be normally distributed with mean. So this one becomes zero. This one becomes zero because this one becomes zero. Zero minus one you get negative. For this one become 0 over alpha 1 minus 0 get that one plus mu in the bracket t plus this one becomes 0 0 minus 1 over alpha sigma squared over alpha squared mm -hmm. t minus 2 over Alpha one minus zero 
plus 1 over 2 alpha 1 minus 0. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get a raise in all distributed with mean alpha plus mu t minus negative 1 over alpha variance squared over alpha squared this is a single squared over alpha squared t minus 2 over alpha plus 1 over 2 alpha that is the final answer. Thank you. Kadi, subscribe, like, and share.